God bless you, beloved. We certainly appreciate this opportunity of being able to share with you a word from the Spirit of God. As never before, it is time to pray. God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you today for all things, and we're looking to you in Jesus' name. For you have made yourself our answer. And we're giving you glory and honor for the victories that are wrought because of you, Lord. Now, as this word is shared, in this brief moment, we loose the power of God upon minds, upon spirits, upon hearts, upon souls, and upon bodies for the healing from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, according to their faith in Jesus. And we'll give you the glory. Amen. Those of you that are saved in Christ Jesus, the scripture says man ought always to pray and not to faint. What is prayer? Praying is calling God into a circumstance, calling God into a situation, asking God's help, his intervention, asking him to do what you and I cannot do, what people cannot do. We pray and we ask God to do it. Now is the time to pray for these United States of America as never before. There is a Supreme Court judge who is getting ready to be possibly confirmed. The person who was slated to be confirmed before the election was a man who would have seen to it that death by way of assisted suicide would be national. That was a part of his agenda. That he was going to see to it that in every state of the United States of America, it would be legal for assisted suicide. The same thing that Jack Kevorkian was imprisoned about. Now it is legal in six states. One of them, Washington, D.C., which is an area. God help us. Now this man that they're going to probably confirm to the Supreme Court, he has stated that he is not in favor of euthanasia. Hopefully, that is the truth. So, therefore, let's pray that the will of God will be done concerning the Supreme Court judge. You know, this is a time as never before we have to watch what the government is doing. Jesus said, watch and pray. And we better watch. We better pray. And we need to do whatever else is necessary concerning the government. So as we go off today, the scripture has prophesied about Jesus and the government shall be upon his shoulders. But until that time, and we're living in this terrestrial earth realm, we have to do what we have to do to have peace. Amen. So we're going to pray to end. If you're not saved today and a part of the kingdom of God, 
You know, the Lord Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. If you're lost today, Jesus is the way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you are lost today, you have only need to call on the Lord. Now let's pray. God, in the name of Jesus, I loose your power upon every hearer that is not saved. And we decree today from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet that they will be convicted and they will come unto you, Lord, through repentance. In Jesus' name, we rebuke that devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and cast him out of the mind and out of the will unto yourself, Lord. And we're praising you and we're giving you the glory in Jesus' name. God bless you, beloved. Until next time. Jesus said, yes. the song says, he